everyone. So I'm here again, this time to tell you about errors and uncertainties. So how you calculate them. And this is going to be on the playlist of the practical skills or anything to do with an, with an investigation. Okay. So here we go. So uncertainties. So you can have mainly three types of uncertainties. You can have the absolute one, the fractional one, or the percentage one. So the absolute one, this first one, is the size of an error. So it's simply, and I'll show you all the formulas in a second, is simply uh, what is the um, the the range in between the value that you measured and the true value or the real value or even the mean if you don't have the true value okay and because it's just that difference it includes units so it includes units of the thing that you're measuring if it's going to be volume it's going to be this uh, liters or uh, decimeters cubed or something alike okay if it's going to be length it's going to be meters then you have the fractional uncertainty so that one is the ratio of the absolute certain uncertainty so this one divided by the actual measurement so the true value or the mean okay and because you have one thing with units divided by another thing with the same units it will have no units and finally, you can have the percentage uncertainty, which is going to be the fractional, fractional uncertainty. So this second one times 100. And this is going to be expressed in percentage. OK, so how do you calculate them? So here are the formulas for the absolute fractional and percentage uncertainty. So the absolute, I put this symbol here, the delta, but you may see it differently, is going to be the um, Oh, I forgot now the name of this thing in maths, the module. Um, so the, the, the positive value of the difference between x0, the measured value, so the one you did, minus x, the exact value. If you don't have the exact value, it can be the mean of the, all the measurements that you took, okay? So that's how you calculate the absolute uncertainty or error. Then you have the fractional one. So that's going to be a fraction, as the name says. So that one is not going to have units while the first one does. So that one, I put again the same symbol, is going to be the module of the exact value minus the, uh, sorry, the measured value minus the exact value. So the same as the absolute uncertainty, but divided by X, where X is the exact value. Again, if you are not given the exact value, you can use the mean of all the results you have. Finally, you're going to calculate the percentage uncertainty. Again, same symbol is going to be the fractional uncertainty times 100. And that's going to be in percentage. So it's going to be the module of the measured value minus the exact value. So the range in between the value that you measured and the, the real value or the mean, if you don't have the real value value, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's just so, you know, it stays in your head. So you memorize it, uh, you divide it by the exact value and then you multiply the whole thing by a hundred. Okay. And, um, and that's it really. And it's going to be in percentages. Remember that you cannot have zero uncertainty. I mean, in an ideal condition, maybe, but you will, in practice, never have zero uncertainty or errors. So let's just do an example to make sure that you know how to do this stuff. So let's imagine that I have something whose real volume is 10.4 and then I measured some volumes myself. So 10.2, 10.3, 10.2, 10.5. So what is going to be the absolute absolute oh my god there is a spelling mistake here sorry what is going to be the absolute error so the absolute <laughs> sorry for that so the absolute error is going to be um the difference in between the real value and the vol the value that you had that is further away from the real one or further away from the mean if you don't have the real value so that's going to be the module of 10.2 minus 10.4. So that's going to give you 9, uh, 0 0.2 or 0 0.2. And then you put the units, which is going to be millimeters because it's volume. Although I didn't show it here because of just, you know, aesthetics and space is going to be millimeters. Imagine that my volume was in millimeters. All right. Now for the same example, let's measure the fractional error. So again, that's going to be the absolute error divided by the value, the real value or the true value 
or again the mean and that's going to be 10.2 minus 10.4 all of that divided by 10.4 and again I want the positive value so that's going to give me 0 0.0192 and because I have millimeters divided by millimeters the units cancel each other so I do not have units Finally, the percentage error. So that's going to be the fractional error times 100 and it's going to give me in percent. So the measured value, the one that is further away from the real value or the mean, minus the real value divided by the real value, all of that times 100. So that's going to be 10.2 minus 10.4, all of that divided by 10.4 times 100 and that gives me this result of fractional error times 100, so that's going to be 1.92%. So it's actually pretty simple, right? So, you know, try to do them. Um, I used to believe I, when, when I first started to do these things when I was in school, I was like, oh my God, I don't know how to calculate the errors and uncertainties. Um, I mean, there are other other experiments where they might just say what is the um, uncertainty of the instrument and I can go that to an, in another video but this is when you have like tables and all of that and it's actually pretty simple and I remember thinking oh my god this is not easy at all and actually once you learn it is really simple so just one last thing before I go uh, sometimes percentage uncertainty is also known as relative uncertainty so you may have an exercise where they say calculate the relative uncertainty that's going to be the same as calculate the percentage uncertainty so I hope it all made sense I still want to do the riddle video the solution for the riddle in the new one and I also want to give you a video with significant figures and more stuff to do with practical stuff and I'm thinking to pick some topics on astrophysics as well but anyway keep checking the, um, the videos because you don't always get all the notifications and I hope it made sense and up to my next video be happy and healthy bye